Adding subtitles to your videos is a good way of enriching your content and making your content accessible to many people in different parts of the world. In this video, I'll show you how to add subtitles to your videos in Wondershare Filmora X. Hi, my name is David and if this is your first time watching my videos and do you get value from the content that you watch, you kindly consider liking and sharing this video with your friends so that we can all learn together. The way you add subtitles to videos in Filmora X is that you have to manually type in the subtitles. At the time of recording this video, Wondershare Filmora have not made the option to import SRT subtitle files available, which I wish they would. That would make the captioning and subtitling process inside Filmora flawless. Now, let's uh, start off by adding a video uh, to our, our timeline here. Uh, we can just insert and then we just want it in this particular uh, to match media. And our video is going uh, to populate here on the timeline. Let's uh, press on home to go to the start. Since uh, Filmora doesn't allow us to import SRT subtitle files, let's say you've outsourced subtitling services from somebody or you're using YouTube's automatic transcription and then getting uh, the subtitles from YouTube, then you need to manually type your subtitles. This is a pretty tedious process if you're working with long videos, so it would be awesome to have the option to import an SRT and also export the subtitles for use on other platforms. Therefore, when you use this particular process of adding subtitles to a video uh, manually uh, in Filmora, it means that the subtitles will be permanently on the video. The number one thing I'd do if I'm adding subtitles manually in Filmora is ensure that my audio waveform is clearly visible. Uh, the reason for this is that when adding subtitles, you need to work with the waveform. The waveform guides you on where to start uh, the text and where to stop ETC. So let us begin by just uh, making this particular uh, interface bigger. Also, you may notice that the audio waveform is a little bit low, so we can just uh, hold when you see that particular hand here and uh, pull it up so that we can get to 12 dB, which is pretty loud. Uh, 12 dB is loud, so once I'm done, I'm going to get it back uh, to 0 dB or even use the audio editor to get it to about 0 dB. So we can see the audio waveform clearly in this particular uh, shot. So if I can just right click, you can also change the color to get a different color if that's not clearly visible. We can see the, wa the, the waveforms, how they appear and all that. The next thing we can do is we can just zoom in uh, to the timeline and let's say this is going to be the first section for a subtitle, this particular section. And if I play it, with the recent update on the YouTube interface, uh, it goes something like with the recent update on the YouTube interface. So we can just come back here. And now to add subtitles to a project, you need to go to titles. And from titles, there are a bunch of options in here. Uh, if your folder is uh, closed out, then you can just expand it to see the subtitles. Uh, by default, or at the time of recording this video, the default subtitles are about 15. And there are a bunch of presets that you can use to speed up your process. So there's this particular one, and you can just uh, like double click on it to see how it appears. Double click on this other one, etc. Uh, let us say we want to work with uh, a subtitle with a background. Let's say we work with this. You can just drag and drop it uh, to your to timeline, or we can just uh, just say apply. So once we click on apply, uh, we can just come back to the start here. And this is where we want to start. Uh, and uh, the first section or what the process of subtitling entails is listening and typing out. So I might zoom in slightly so that we can get the position as it is and then adjust this to a particular, uh, let's say somewhere here, let's just move it there, somewhere there. And then we can just double click on it. And once you do that, it's going to get you to the uh, settings for this particular preset. There are a bunch of options available. Uh, so a couple of things uh, you'll see is that uh, right here we have the title group controller and uh, you can move this to the side uh, so that we can see everything that's available. Uh, just, just bring this here. Uh, you can just control Z, control Z, control Z for it to uh, be in the right orientation. Uh, but let's say this is what we have. You have the option for the font. 
uh, you can choose whatever font you want to use for your subtitles, the font size, the different uh, font changes that you want to make, bold, italicized, and then uh, the like the alignment for the text. Uh, at the moment, it's align center. If you do align left, that's what it looks like. Uh, the other one, uh, align right, etc. But I, I prefer to have them aligned at the center. And this is just the default text. Uh, we can just close out that, uh, that one. And then we have the settings for the text color. You can change that. The text space, the alignment. And this uh, controls the alignment to pull the text up, down, sideways, etc. You can also hold on this particular uh, subtitle block and adjust it manually. Uh, but let's, uh, let us just leave it somewhere down here. So that's good. Uh, we can just scroll down slightly and uh, you can transform different things here. You can scale it up. Uh, that is uh, the different options. Let's press on Control Z. It doesn't look good, but it's really a bunch of options here that if you're subtitling videos, you may or may not use. But let's just say all we want is just to add subtitles to a video. So what we do first is uh, click outside here, press on the space bar to play. With the recent update on the YouTube interface, let's just stop it uh, and then come inside here and then we can just type it out with the recent update on the YouTube interface. So that's what we have at the moment. Uh, I can just uh, press on shift enter to have this get there and then just bring this slightly to that position. And then we can bring that there. Uh, looks good. Uh, if we can just minimize slightly and then we can just we can just split here. Just split and then we can just delete one. So we have our first subtitle block. Looks good. You can make any adjustments that you want to make. Uh, ensure that it's at the center. ETC. You can save this as a custom that if you, if you want to do that and also add different types of animations if you want to apply uh, animations to this particular subtitle. I personally wouldn't recommend that. Just let the subtitles appear when they should be appearing in a block so that people who are consuming don't really need to concentrate too much on the video and also the subtitles. Now, the positives I have about subtitling videos uh, using Filmora is that you can change the positioning of the subtitles the way you want it. Uh, and different subtitles can call for different options. Uh, so that is a good thing. And I wish that Camtasia can borrow from Filmora and Filmora can borrow from Camtasia with the options to import or export SRT subtitle files. So that's one. And let's say we save it as a custom. Let's click on save as custom. Let's say subtitles. For social media. Just click OK. And then we just click OK. Uh, if you want to use this particular subtitle that you just saved, it's under custom subtitles for social media. So let's say we want to add another one here. All we need to do is just come and hold it, drag and drop it. Uh, we can zoom in so that we can see the exact position when we get the next uh, text going. So there we go. You can just pull this there and then we can just play. It's now easier than before to download YouTube transcripts. So uh, that one goes something like, it's now easier than before to download YouTube transcripts. Just double click on it. It's now easier than before to download YouTube transcripts. Now, as you notice, uh, the subtitles conform to what is being uh, typed. So let's just press on shift enter just before two so that we get uh, the subtitles a little bit bigger and we can just adjust this slightly and then make sure that it's centered. And there we have it. Now, the process is continuous uh, and uh, repetitive like this. So you'll need to have to keep doing this so that you get your desired result. And that is where importing SRT subtitle files comes in handy because all you need to do is just import subtitles or the text is ready. And all you need to do is just have the text populate down here as subtitles and then you can style it the way you want. 
if you had only uh, lower that graphics here that are being obscured then you're going to be able to move the subtitle using the editing tools inside Filmora. So that is just a basic step-by-step -step process of how you add subtitles to a video in Filmora. Uh, just hoping that somebody at Wondershare is watching this video and they'll include the option to import and export SRT subtitle files in their next updates. I hope this video has been of value to you. Thanks for watching. My name is David. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thank you for watching this video.